Hello and welcome to Sitting Down with Schneider. Today is May the 26th and our guest today is Ms. Laura Carrion. Let's bring in Ms. Carrion. Waiting for her to come on in. And <laughs> there she is. Hello. How's it going? I am doing well. I'm doing well. How are you? Hanging in there. <laughs> Hanging in. Hey, before we continue, is it okay that I record this and uh, post it on my YouTube channel? Of course. Or at least attempt to. <laughs> right. So, um, before we get uh, moving on any further, would you uh, introduce yourself to the mass viewers that are going to be watching this video? Well, most people in the community know me as the choir director at Liberty High School. Excellent, cool. excellent. Um, so um, I missed that, so it froze a little bit on me, but I, I think I may have interrupted you. You're saying you're the Liberty choir teacher. Yeah. Am I, am I like frozen right now or am I? No, you're good now. You're okay. good now. <laughs> yeah. So I teach, um, I teach all the choirs at Liberty High School. I also teach ukulele, um, music theory and technology and chaos coordinator. There you go. <laughs> chaos coordinator. So how are you holding up during this shelter in place? I'm doing all right. It's, it's kind of been a week by week thing. I feel like every week is a little bit different. Even every day seems a little bit different. Um, and it's just mostly been about trying to find that balance and manage everything and still feel like I'm doing everything I should be or would like to be doing, you know. When you mention balance, because I know it's not only um, the kids at school that you're trying to do distance learning with, you also have um, little ones at home that are also doing uh, distance learning. How's, how's that going, balancing? Uh, being a teacher for the kids at, at the high school and also being a teacher for the little ones at home? Uh, well, I've been doing most of the uh, mommy duty slash teacher duty at the same time. Um, I have to kind of schedule it with Juan. You know, I'm very fortunate that we have both of us at home um, managing our schedules, but it has been a juggling act. Uh, most of what they do, I have to sit down and at least start with them. And so my time is very broken up and it's just kind of been a, can I multitask at the same time or give them something focused or just also manage how much I'm getting done at the same time. And they've been doing really well. Um, luckily they are loving school and loving learning still. They have amazing teachers. So I couldn't ask for anything more on that side of thing. On things. Now, at first, I, I tried to have structure. I had tried to say, okay, we're still going to wake up at a certain time, do our breakfast morning routine. And by day three, I was like, no, it's not going to happen like that. It's, it's just all went out the window. And um, we've kind of figured out our routine. And I've figured out I need my like hour, hour and a half of just get my head ready for the day without that you know, that morning time when you're always like, okay, come on, we got to get ready, got to get out the door, that kind of feeling. It, I, don't, I don't like that feeling. <laughs> so it doesn't, doesn't help when I'm trying to push it for something that's not actually starting at a certain time. So we've kind of found, found our routine and made it work. Right on. And then how about the, um, the high school piece? How, how has that been going on with the distance learning, um, especially in a, in a subject area like choir, which right. does not fall easily um, as you're trying to blend voices and, and all that. Um, how, well, how's that worked out? At first, I, I really wanted to, um, with planning, not like I had a lot of time to plan, you know, um, I still wanted to do something productive. I didn't want to completely forget everything be, they would be doing for the rest of the school year. And I didn't want to just assign packet work and stuff like that, you know, music theory. Even though I knew I could incorporate that in their lessons, I didn't want that to be the only thing they did, which 
can be sometimes the easiest solution, you know, to still be learning and still be doing something. Just give them their online lessons. They can do that. But I still wanted them to sing. I still wanted them to grow and do something as musicians, whether it be watching, listening, analyzing, but also using those other skills and not just the, the theory part of it. So um, that's kind of been some trial and error on things. Um, I think it was a, a big uh, step in trying to accomplish our virtual choirs, which we've done some virtual choir recordings. And at first it was kind of like, oh, we'll just see and let's just go for it. Um, it took a lot of time to put together, but seeing it all come together was, was really rewarding, really made it feel like they did something, even if they weren't with their peer singing. I think they had that sense of satisfaction too, of just seeing, seeing each other on the screen, hearing their voices together again. Um, so it's, I'm not gonna say it's been easy, but um, I think we should be proud still of what we've been able to do. Yeah, super proud. You know, the, the Rise Up video jumps right to mind and um, it's beautiful. Those of you that are listening and haven't seen that, pull up Rise Up by the Liberty Choir. Um, but we spoke about that and how many hours, just, just so people out there know, how many hours of, of tech did that take? Uh, on my part, that probably put, took between 25 to 30 hours. And I shouldn't just say my part because, you know, my husband was like super involved with, we would, on the video part and audio mixing. Um, and I sat by his side for some of it and I would, and he would do his thing. And I'm like, okay, do you got what you need from me? Can I, can I go take care of the kids now or stuff like that? We'd be juggling it. But yeah, about 25 to 30 hours of, of tech work. Well, the final product was was certainly worth it. It was that was amazing. It was Thank amazing. Um, have you found uh, yourself picking up on any new um, hobbies or anything while while the shelter in place? I mean, I, obviously you've kept busy because you had thirty hours of tech work on your choir <laughs> stuff. But sometimes people, when they're, you know, I know that some people have picked up guitar, done some baking. Has anything like that uh, come your way? Oh gosh, I wish I wish I could say I picked up some baking. No, um, <laughs> I. I would say like, I have a lot of hobbies. I have a lot of things that I like to do. Um, and when, when we first started shelter in place, we were on break. So I wanted to be, I wanted to feel like on break mode at first. I wanted to feel like I had time for me and time to think to things that I wanted to do and, li and usually like to do. So I started with sewing a lot of stuff. Um, and even though I already have those skills, it was, it was just, I kind of went crazy and, and started sewing a lot of things. And then it turned into, well, now I need to sew some masks. So I started sewing masks. Uh, crafting a lot, um, running, exercising, cleaning the house. I mean, you name it. it I've been <laughs> doing it. I, I wouldn't say I've picked anything new up. Um, I have been playing more music for my pleasure, um, ukulele and with my kids. So that's just, that's been our thing. I haven't done anything necessarily new, just things that still bring me, you know, some good vibes, feeling good um, oh, at home. Pictures. You're such a musical family too, being able to sit down. I mean, it is affording some time to sit down with your own kids and create some music that you might not have otherwise had that opportunity to do. Oh yeah, and I think sometimes we have that expectation um, that people think or expect that our kids are practicing and learning music. You know, they have two music teachers at home, so why aren't they practicing music? Why aren't they involved in lessons? And And sometimes it's so easy to have our focus on our students that we don't put as much time into our own kids learning on the music side. You know, we're kind of burned out sometimes by the time we come home. But um, it has been a true blessing. One of the silver linings of this time is our kids sitting down and at home, they've been practicing every day. My, you know, Enrique, my son has been like jamming on the drums every day. And it just feels so good to watch them grow and learn on a daily progress here. Right on. So when this is all said and done, what are going to be the first couple things that you want to do when this whole thing gets lifted? Oh, I hope that I don't lose all the things that I still love doing right now. So um, I know sometimes you have to give and take, right? But right. I really want to get back on the ice. So, you know, right before the shelter in place happened, we were going to go ice skating that day. And we even called them like, we hear it's happening. Can, can we still get in? And they're like, no, we're closing down now. Um, so we didn't get in to go ice skating that last night. Um, so that would be really fun. I also want to just do some 
shopping with just feeling more relaxed and not having something specific I have to go for. Um, or even some of the craft items. I can't get these things at the store, so I have to order online. And it's like so frustrating sometimes when I can't be there and see and feel and touch. And then of course, I really wanna to go to Disneyland when they open up again. And I think I just wanna be, I just wanna be around people. You know. Yeah, I, I love that. Just that ability to just walk through the aisles, right? And just the shopping. Like you said, it's that tactile. It's like, I want to be able to say yes or no to like the things I'm looking at. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, well, thank you so much for sitting down today. This, this was really fun. I, I, I do want to say you are such an uh, unbelievable example of um, continuing. You always have made connections with kids and just even over um, Zoom and on the internet and whatever what you've been doing, um, just such an amazing teacher to be able to keep that connection with kids, even in lieu of this, this unprecedented madness. And I just want to say um, from my own end with my own kid, and I'm sure I'm speaking for a lot of other people out there, just thank you for, for everything you do and the energy you put in. Um, it's truly amazing. Thank you. I know it's, it's hard when you have this screen between you to feel like um, the energy, I, I'm really big on when we're together making music or even having discussions, um, you can definitely feed off of how people feel. And music is one of those things that mm -hmm. you can't deny the way it makes you feel. Right. And I feel like uh, it's been, that's been a big challenge, but um, I'm glad to hear that because it, it means a lot. It's something that means a lot that I'm still doing something even through the screen. Well, and it it's, hasn't all been through the screen. I mean, you've gone to every one of your seniors houses uh, to say, you know, to, for that closure. So, um, you know, I think it just speaks volumes. So, thank all you. right. Well, thank you for sitting down today. Of course. Always my pleasure. <laughs> all right. Take care. You too. Bye-bye.